ながら私は非分の謎には挑戦できなかったけれどももしあなたが私と共に非分の謎に挑むことができていたならおじいちゃんが必死になって考えた子供じみた謎謎遊びなんてきっと簡単に解けていた。Regrettable that I wasn't able to challenge the riddle of the epitaph. Had, if I challenged the riddle of the epitaph together with you, we surely would have easily solved the childish wordplay. That was an awfully lot of red there for something very, very specific. Wow. It is extremely difficult to solve, and the probability of reaching the correct answer is akin to an astronomical miracle. Solving it revived the witch, and resulted in a great number of sorrowful mistakes, which drastically changed the fate of the Ushimiya family on Rokenjima. And she called such a cataclysmic riddle child's play, as if she found it easy to answer. あなたという黄金の魔女の復活が空白の6年の間に起き人を愛する資格を持てない家具に身を落としてしまいそれが全ての惨劇の引き金になっただから私は今猛烈なる反省と悲しみに包まれているあの程度の謎謎遊び私と一緒に挑めたならもっと早くあなたに解かせてやれた、はあ、私の手にはあなたの人生が狂わずに済む鍵が握られていたはずなのにそれを使うことができなかったのが私の一番の罪バトラ君は猫箱に閉じ込められエンジェちゃんは一人孤独なミラーに取り残された<笑>これは全て私の責任私があなたを産んだもっと早く産んであげればよかった<笑>そうすればきっと誰もがずっとずっと幸せでいられたんだ<笑>お前Huh. Truly, if it's Asumu, then what I said before would still stand that the story of Beatrice would not have happened. And I guess the same case can be said for the, for the epitaph. If the epitaph was not solved, then the whole tragedy wouldn't have happened. Hmm. She gave birth to me? It can't be. The mom I'd only seen in portraits? No, it can't be that. It's impossible. Because I'm positive my mother escaped from Kuadorian with Rosa, then fell off a cliff to her death. Nah, I don't think it's her. That happened right after giving birth to me. Moreover, right after I was born, I was left in Nazi's care. If she is my real birth mother, i.e. the previous Beatrice, then the riddle of the epitaph should have been after the important fork in the road of her destiny. I don't think that she is your literal mother here. If she really was my mother, she should have said she regretted not raising me herself, or not being able to spend time with me in Quadori, or something like that. That's why I don't really Feel comfortable with the logic that she's my birth parent. Daga, Kangai no Senwa, Tabu. Ah, Koyatsua. Warawa o Mikuda Seru Itini, you nani monokada. Soremo, Komani Mikuda Sno de Wanai. She is looking at you in regret for the things that have happened. That if she was there, then the future of the family would have been different. It would have been happier in that case.
Yeah, truly. わからないわ。そんな人本当にいたの心当たりが本当にないわ。天神ちゃん、あなたに心当たりがなくて当然よ。だって、あなたは私の名前は知ってはいても、会ったことはただの一度もないのだから。I guess that seals it. Because once again, it is true. If it is who I think it is, then indeed, Angie truly never met this person. They were basically just born, like at that point when this person left. <laughs> じゃあ、逆に聞くわ。お兄ちゃんはベアとはあんたに会ったことがあるというの。あるわよ。もちろん人間としての2人にね。ただ会ったことがあるだけじゃない。趣味を聞いた。流行りを聞いた。何が好き
俺たちには同時に存在できない人物がいたんだわからないわベアトのように家具を生み出していた人間が他にいたというの違うそうじゃない出会うことのできない一人の人間たちじゃないんだ二人の人間であっても後宮家の親族会議に同時に存在できない人間たちがいるんだよだ誰そんな人私知らない本当に知らない As tears fell from Angie's face into her teacup, she scratched her head in anger over her own weakness. But she still didn't stop thinking. I don't remember her. I want to remember. I need to remember. I want to accept them. As the last survivor of the Shumia family. As the witch of the future. Isn't that my sole responsibility? Angie, I was. あなたに意地悪をしたくてこの場にわざわざ呼びつけた私はあなたという存在とは相入れない駒だから But I met you and I understand now Your single mindedness, your clumsiness But also your straight lacedness All that was inherited from your brother Inherited たちは出会えていたらきっと仲良くなれていたそれを確信できたああ彼女は彼女はエンジちゃん横島な私はキリエさんにだけでなくあなたにまで復讐をしようとしたでも女の歌見合いは当事者の二人が揃って棺桶の中にまで持ち込むのが正解だった会ったこともないのに彼女の娘というだけの理由であなたを傷つけて自分の心を慰めようというそんなくだらない目的のために、ここにあなたを呼んでしまったことを私は仮にも人の親として心から走るわ。会ったことないけど、写真ですか？見たことないけど。Yes, I hated you too, just by seeing you smile in a picture. In a family photo without me, dead and on each other. You were smiling at the family that I didn't know, in a way reserved for our family members, which I detested. I wasn't alive then. But I was still jealous. That's right. We couldn't meet due to the wheels of time. And even if we did meet, we wouldn't have been able to stay together. You and I sit on opposite sides of the seesaw, with Dad as the fulcrum. We cannot exist at the same time as family members. Truly. Antano! Antano! Namaeva! Dad's late wife, who passed away before I was born. Enjicha, so since they have already come to a consensus. The answer should already be accepted. And yet, why did peace? No. 
Asma still want to hear it from Angie's mouth. So Alright, let's continue with the reasoning. This was a fantasy about what if Asumu Ujiyomiya had never died and always been a member of the Ujiyomiya family. A fairy tale. Yeah, basically. It is very Yuminiko like. A story that Battle would write for sure. A happy ending for both Beller and Bat Battle. Which, of course, would entail Asumu being part of the family in the process as well. Cause and effect. Effect and cause. So long as Asmu was Rudolph's wife, she was a legitimate member of the family, and thus invited to the family conference. Naturally, the family would not recognize Rudolph marrying a second wife. So only his legal wife, Asmu, would have been invited. Okay. So, the fact that Asmu exists in this fragment automatically meant that Ushumiya Kirie could not exist in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and therefore Angie couldn't exist either. And well, same case for for uh, Bato, Shannon, and Kanon because of the reasoning that I gave before that. Okay, Bato would have no reason to leave the family. Therefore, that would mean that the promise would be fulfilled, and Yasu and Bato would be together forever and ever. Therefore, like. The split in Yasuo would not have existed anymore. I'm gonna have to think about Kinzo and uh, Genji though. Okay, I think it has something to do with the epitaph and the uh, headship and such. Kinzo dies, therefore, a new headmaster would be needed. Either, hmm, since we were talking about epitaph and solving it and such, and the Witch of Peace sees this as child's play in comparison, that could imply that if Asumo was still part of the family, she would have solved the epitaph before, hmm, before before Yasu. That would mean that she would become the new head. Kinzo would have died because of old age and such. I guess the only explanation that I can offer for Genji is that that he, that he just left. The reason why Genji still stayed with... Uh, hold on a second. I think I remember the reasoning that Genji would still stay in like the main story because, well, it was Yasu that we were talking about. She was a child of Kinzo. Of course, Genji would still stay in order to protect and uh, help Yasu after after Kinzo died. If he felt like it was his responsibility for still being part of the family. But, you know, given the fact that, well, Yasu... got the headship, well, hmm. Nah, that would still apply, to be quite honest. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm sure there is this small detail that I'm missing out of here. Kirie herself would exist, but not as an Ushumiya. She will be Kirie Sumadera. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Kirie Ushumie and her existence would vanish. Yeah. It is a case... Eh. It is a case of both 
the names like you are Kirie Sumadera, a completely separate uh, entity from Kirie Ushumiya. Therefore, Kirie Ushumiya would not exist, but Kirie Sumadera, even though it's, we're talking about the same human, exists. And there's also the idea of being erased from the family register. There's also that detail that we can take into account. Like, you are no longer part of uh, the family register, therefore you do not, do not exist in this. Same case for Angie. The same can be said for Angie. The reason Beller left the family was Angie's birth date. If you counted backwards from the final moment of month of pregnancy, it was evidence that Kiri and Rudolf had an affair while Asumo was still alive. Asumo was still alive and well. Ushimi and Angie would not exist. Even if she was acknowledged, there is no way Kinzo would allow Angie to be added to the Ushumiya family register. Therefore, Angie wouldn't be an illegitimate child. The existence of Angie Ushumiya would vanish and she would have lived as Angie Sumadera instead. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, or that. Like, I was thinking of the possibility that, okay, if Asuma was still with them, there would have been the possibility that Rudolf would no longer pursue Kirie, therefore they wouldn't have, like, another child and such. Therefore, Angie would not have been born. But no, I guess, <clears throat> I guess in this case, we're going uh, with the route where, okay, Asuma was still part of the family, uh, Rudolf would still have an illegitimate uh, child with Kirie, but same case as Kirie. Angie would not be Angie Ushumiya. She would not exist as part of the family. So she is out of the story. So, <laughs> わたしが生きて、非分の謎に出会い、黄金の魔女となる前のベアトに非分の謎を解く重要なヒントを教えていたという。ファンタジーがあるからです。後ろ宮アスムという人間は、キリエとは全く逆のタイプでな。ああ、
秘密にされるはずよ実際には死んでいてもあたかも生きているかのように振る舞われるはずおふくろさすがにこれは少しご都合が過ぎる世界だなおとぎ話とはファンタジーとはエンジェじいさまの死を隠さなければならないのはクラウスおじさんたちに金銭的な問題があった時だけだ。That is true.I get the feeling that that still would have happened. その世界では、わらわは絶望の中ででなく、だから、発見された黄金のその後も変わってくるのだ。The trigger that tore up Beller and Shannon's relationship was Asmo's death. Yeah. However, in this fantasy where Asmo did not die, the two of them could continue their friendship. The seed of unrequited love placed in Shannon's chest, whose root tormented her with pain during several years of hell, was never planted. Oh. Yeah. If Beller and Shannon would have continued their friendship, that would mean that that would have mean that would have meant to like a change of heart. Shannon, Yasu, would have gotten the gold and like the headship, but instead she would have just given the family all the money and every financial problem would have been solved. Therefore, Kraus would not have needed to. To hide Kinzo's death. Yeah. After that, as Asmo herself said, it was all a fairy tale. <laughs> Those two grew up healthy. And then, suddenly, the real Liaptaf appeared in a mansion. Yeah, see, this is, this is what I meant before. Like uh, when we were talking about uh, the Erika Copper theory. It wasn't Yumineko. Where's the drama? Where's like the, like, the the romanticism? Well, there it is. It's the kind of ending that uh, Yasu deep down always would have wanted. It's the kind of story that she, of course, would have wanted to write. And up until this point, it was very well kept secret, like hidden, like some other. Message in a bottle, like thrown in the water, for nobody to ever read. For like one person out there to read it. And we only hear about this like after the main story ended. Like it goes to tell you like how much Yasu probably didn't think that this would ever happen. Yeah, here we have it. Asmo's intuition told her. That Kinzo wanted Shannon to perform some sort of miracle. Although he was quiet, Genji was poor at keeping secrets. And with just a couple of questions, Asumo had discerned that this was settling some sort of animosity with his illegitimate child. Nanjo had told Kinzo that his years remaining were short. And that he should sell his regrets and tell the truth to the girl who didn't even know her own origins. He hoped for a miracle and left it to time to decide, even though the chance of failure was, was high. Asumu, who was good at puzzles, encouraged a similar mystery loving Battler and Shannon to attempt and solve the riddle of the Aptaf. <laughs> awesome. There was this one、um, line of dialogue that、uh, Peace and Beto had like earlier on about how、uh, Beller was、um, uh, like, you know, the husband of the Golden Witch. And I think it was something similar. I think it was something among the lines of, My son is not fit for you, or something like that. It kind of made you think of the kind of conversation that a mother and.、Uh, A girl who is dating their son would have that kind of a dialogue between, like, the mother of the son who is one day gonna marry this girl right over here. 
that's uh, that's the kind of feeling that I had from that kind of conversation. <laughs> Since I was thinking about them at that point. She watched and guided them so that they could arrive at the right answer on their own. Yeah, there you go. In the same year in which the epitaph first appeared, the 20 billion yen of gold had been found by a young boy and girl. At first, Angie was puzzled as to why Peace and Beto were so apologetically repeating over and over again that this was a fantasy. But little by little, she began to understand that uncomfortable feeling. それでも一個人には十分に莫大な取り分を受け取ると残りの全てを後ろ見分けの親族たちに分配するのだよって親族たちがそれぞれ抱える経済的問題は全て解決する金蔵の死を隠蔽しなければならないという茶番も必要ない nah, basically. イガミアウコトモナニモナイ。幸せな島が残るだけ。ベアトたちが消えるのは島を去るからなのか。そうだ。恋の種の根に苦しむことはないから島に縛り付けられることも黄金の魔女を気取る必要もない。現実さんが消
um, had done. But I guess in that sense, she could have just stayed behind to help the family just fine, I guess. It's not as if Kumasawa was in debt to Kinzo in similar fashion to Genji. つまり今回のゲームは間違い探しってわけね。そうです。片方は三撃の猫箱に閉ざされる世界。もう片方はあなたとキリエさんだけを例外として全てを幸せにした世界。おお。That's why they were feeling a little bit uh, sad when it comes to Angie specifically because while everybody was happy, that would imply that Angie, well, was still with uh, the, sm the Smaderas. Kirie would have Angie, who was an illegitimate child of Rudolf, and given the fact that Kirie is no longer with Rudolf, she would have felt sad about it, and therefore she would have returned to her family. I don't know, like I want to believe that Kiria would have uh, taken care of Angie, like no matter what, even if she was an illegitimate child and such. But you still had like, like the Sumadera drama and all that. I mean, especially with Kasumi and such. I mean, uh... <laughs> Okay, this is a little off topic, but at the time of recording this, it's snowing outside. <laughs> That's nice. I still want my Christmas episode, Yumineko. なるほど。本当ならば私たち3人はその答えにいたり3人で同意した1つの答えとしてあなたの正体を暴くことになるところが私が否定するのよ。その答えをそうでしょう。そうです。あなたは苦しめてやりたかった。答えは出ているのにあなただけが否定するから勝てない。そういうゲームにしてあなたをいじめ抜くつもりでした。わからねえよ。どうしてそんなことを。おふくろが そんなことをするなんて俺には信じられねえよ。信じたくないなら信じなくてよい。それもまた愛だ。だが信じなくても理解しろ。一人の愛する人。たった一つの愛をめぐって人がどれだけの惨劇を起こせるのか。お前はも
she is loved by those of the present day, in the future that is. Still, when I think about this story right over here that is being told, it does have a bitter taste for this one person here. For this six-year-old baby here. If she had been told that Kiri had become Rudolph's wife after her death, there is no way that even Asuma could have been at peace. For her, a daughter such as Angie was a foreigner in the family that she would never want to acknowledge. With that emotion at her core, she was made into an assassin piece. She was the sort of ghost who had a deep-seated hatred for Kiri and her daughter, who had hijacked her family after she died. Oh my god. So... Angie and Asumu are two sides of the same coin of misery, in a way. Because, well, if we're talking about the main story, as it's told here, Asumu would have, like, deep-seated hatred for Angie because she was the illegitimate uh, child of Rudolf and Kirie, specifically who she hated for taking Asumu's place. On the other side, Asumu is going to have like a happy ending with the rest of the family, while Angie, in retrospect, will look at this and have like some form of hatred for Asumu because Angie herself ends up being a uh, part of, of the Sumadera and therefore would have had to suffer throughout her life in a completely different way. Wow. Mm. So even though Angie was not at fault, she tormented her. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. But if I admit this, what will happen to Angie? I'm not going to be able to live in a place. My father's father... But you, Angie, would have been sad, no? Angie。そんなことはない。それすらも全て内包するのが俺たちの猫箱だろう。そうだと。I mean, think about what I was um, mentioning previously. Like, okay, at the beginning I was thinking, okay, Kirie was not part of the family anymore, therefore Angie would not have been born. But... Uh, here, they're talking about uh, Angie being born, too. <sighs> For poor Angie over here, in her, sad sto in her sad state, like, it's like either an option between living a sad life with Sumaderas, or, or basically just dying, so that she wouldn't have to go through that. These are sad options. Reason why I'm thinking that even if uh, Angie would have been with only Kiria, Kiria would have been able to offer Angie like a good life. That's what I like to believe. だから
そうね要はそういうことだわ私がここにいることを恥じるなんておかしいもの亡霊のあんたが一番おかしいその上自分が生きていたらこんなにも未来は幸せだったのになんてタラとレバーをつければどんな未来だってでっち上げられるそうだからウィッチ・オブ・ザ・ピースなどという邪悪な魔女の駒のことは抱きして心にさえとどめずに忘れ去ってちょうだいああそうかそのために私にはこの力があるのね<笑>バトラーあやつはおふくろだいじょうぶエンジェちゃんそしてバトラくんあなたたちのそのかなしみは今すぐ癒されるからしたが忘却の深淵で積もった誇りをしばし払うことはできましたのでピースお役目ご苦労であったぞ駒の魔女よそなたの主にはそなたがその役目を見事に果たされたことを必ずや伝えようさよならバトラ君妹を大切にしてね女の子は。あなたが思っているよりずっと壊れやすいのだからおふくろさよならエンジェちゃん後ろ宮家に一人だけが残って未来をたくましく生きなければならないことがもし運命なら私はその一人があなたでよかったと思う誰よりも賢くてたくましくて自分の家族のためにどのような努力もいとわなかった後ろ身や切り絵の血を引く人でよかったと思ってる<笑>こんな情けないなぞなぞが趣味のおばさんの娘じゃ心もとないものね私あなたのことをお母さんと呼べることなんて一生ないけれど私のお母さんがあなたが死んだ後にも嫉妬するほどにあなたがお父さんの素晴らしい伴侶であったことだけは私疑わないからありがとうあなたもお幸せにそれではこれにて閉幕お相手は私ビッチ・オブ・ザ・ピースことピースフル・ラブリー・ピースのピースちゃんでした世界人類の I love it, can I get? Go down with that, t i m o t h y